Many people ask me the question of when uh, or how long does it take to become a programmer? Like they say, if I start now, how long is it going to take me? Three months, six months, two years, five years? So to answer this question, I want to change the term programmer because lots of people have very strong opinions on what a programmer means. And I'm going to change this uh, term and I'm going to turn it into a developer. How long does it take to become a developer? All right. When you say you are a developer, it's because you're a maker, because you can develop, like make stuff, even if it's iOS apps, Android apps, websites, backends, frontends, games, whatever. You are a developer, a game developer, a website developer, an app developer, a anything developer, all right? So this means that you are able to make something on your own. This means that you understand the mechanics of how everything works because you can put it in together. If you can build your own, uh, product you will understand back and front and together and you understand the servers this turns you into a developer so i think that when people say how long is it gonna take me it really depends in how uh, big is the project that you're gonna make <laughs> if the graduation for a developer is making a product by himself then it depends on how much, um, how big is the product that you want to make. So when you start studying, when you start uh, into programming, into making something, uh, don't study, start making. And then this will graduate you as a developer. So it all depends on you and how much time you put into your project to have it finished. This is my standard. Some people think that if you can understand code, you're already a developer. I think that once you make something on your own, this makes you a developer. That is like my graduation. Instead of going to uni, instead of having a degree, instead of having an exam, I think that the best exam for a developer is making something on his own. So if you start making small stuff, you will be a small developer because you made a to-do list, because you made a camera app. If you make a, your whole product with a backend and a frontend, you will be a bigger developer. So it really depends on your first project, I believe. And this is my opinion. Now, if you ask me, for example, what project do you recommend me to do to start? I would say just clone the front end of some page. Just clone the front end if you like to be a web developer. Clone the front end of something. And once it's done and once it looks similar or almost the same, you are a front end developer. All right? Because you did it on your own. And after this, uh, there's other people asking questions like, how long will it take me to get a job? How long will it take me to get a company? How long will it take me to get a client? And I always say, once you're a maker, you will get hired, you will get clients, you will get work. The, the key is just you have to start making. I, in, my, in my book, there is no developer with only theory. So it's great if you did computer science and you remember all these concepts and shit, but if you don't write code every day and if you don't finish your projects, every week and if you don't ship and publish something every month then i don't actually think that's developing or that is being like a developer a maker okay also don't give a fuck about the term like the term doesn't matter call yourself developer call yourself programmer call yourself maker call yourself solo entrepreneur call yourself hacker the point is you're making something and you have something to show. You have something on your portfolio and this makes you whatever you want to call yourself. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Keep asking me questions because I really like these kind of questions. They really make me think. Tell me, let me know if you like it. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, take a shower and eat some food. See you.